Hi, I'm Evan Thomason for This Week in Santa Clarita. Right now I am with Julie Calderon, who is the Community Center Supervisor for the City of Santa Clarita. Uh, Julie, this month we are coming up on a very significant uh, milestone. This is the fifth year anniversary of the new Community Center being built. Can you talk about what this larger facility has allowed the city to do in terms of services for local residents? Absolutely. We've been able to expand our programs. Uh, this facility is much larger in comparison to the 7,000 square foot facility that we came from. And it has allowed us to serve over 14,000 members in the past five years. So you can imagine the amount of uh, classes and programs we've been able to expand. Wow, and I know that uh, there was a lot of good work being done over at the other community center, and right now we're going to walk in and take a look at the new community center and some of the, uh, some of the uh, features that are able to provide great services. So Julie, right now we're in uh, what many people consider one of the staples of the community center, the community center's boxing area. Can you talk about the history and the importance, the significance of the boxing arena to the community center? Yeah, it's actually been um, a tradition of the community center to have the boxing program. This program started out of a carport, um, out of the house of, of one of our coaches, actually. And he's still uh, part of the program um, and has been training over, in the last five years just alone that we've been here at the community center, over 2,000 people that have come to the program just for the boxing. Wow, and I know that the boxing program has been extremely successful in terms of gaining national recognition. Can you talk about some of the success of the program? Um, a lot of our boxers that start, you know, in the beginning class go on to participate in the, uh, in the uh, competition team. And they've gone on to participate in championships such as the Desert Showdown every year and the Golden Gloves. And we've had some amateur boxers that have made it to uh, be professionals. So there's been a lot of successes. And, and not just in the sport itself, but personally for um, what this program does for the kids that participate. You know, gets them out of the streets, um, helps them improve their grades their self-esteem there's so much that goes on just you know behind the scenes well I think in a lot of in a lot of ways the the different things that the community center does it offers it gives the the kids a choice to find their sport or their activity or the thing that they're interested in for some people it's boxing but I know uh, folklorico is another uh, thing can you talk about that Yes, the Folklorico program has also been a tradition here at the Community Center, going on strong for 17 years. And um, again, we offer classes from beginning to advance, and we have a group of girls that participate, girls and boys, I should say, that participate in the, uh, in the group, and they perform. Uh, they perform the Cowboy Festival, they go on to perform for the community um, events, various throughout the city. And, and also continue the tradition as well as the boxing program and the karate program of award-winning nationally recognized uh, competition. That's correct. Uh, the karate program is actually one of our wonderful programs that we offer here. It's actually taught by a volunteer instructor. He's been doing that for some time. And again, just like the boxing program, the stories that come out you know, with these children um, and anybody that participates, you know, all that they put into. And they go on to be really positive um, uh, part of the community, um, not just you know participating in in championships, but what they do beyond the studio when they come in to. And, and they really do develop skills. And you see, the one thing that you notice if you meet these kids is the tremendous pride they have when they're showing off their skills in competition or practicing or just the way they wear it around. I mean, they're very proud of the what they've learned. That's correct. That's correct. And they take so much pride in uh, saying that they are part of the Newhall Community Center. You know, you hear about uh, different clubs and things, but being part of the community center here for these kids, they, ha they take so much ownership. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's one wonderful thing that sets us apart. I think it's the ownership that everybody takes into uh, it, with all the programs and everything that they participate. And you, you know the kids are certainly passionate certainly the community center would be not where it is today without the passion of volunteers as well. Can you talk about that dedication and how far it goes in the community? You know that's one of the um, biggest elements I think that makes this community center what it is is the passion that the people that come in and work here as volunteers put in every single day. Um, if it wasn't for them these programs would not be as successful. And certainly there's a lot of flash to the boxing program, the folklorico program, and the karate program. They're award winning. But it's not all that the community center is about. The community center has many different aspects. Uh, one of them is after school homework help. And I think we're going to go take a look at that right now. That's correct. Yeah, the uh, homework program is very successful. We partner with the uh, area schools, the New Hall uh, School District. And we have so many children participating in that program. It does help them quite a lot. So Julie, uh, 
we got to keep our voices down a little bit so we don't distract anybody. Can you tell us what's going on behind you? Behind us, what's going on is the after-school um, homework help program, uh, which happens five days a week, four days a week, actually. It goes from Monday through Thursday. The kids come in as soon as the uh, center opens, and they come back to the homework area where they receive help from our staff here at the community center. And this goes on throughout the year. For You've been doing this since the whole thing's been open? Uh, it, it has indeed. Um, we take a little break during the summer when we do our summer programming, but it does go on year-round. And what's the reaction from the community? I can't imagine that, I imagine that the, the parents are ecstatic that something like this exists. They are, you know, and we're trying to really work closer with the parents as far as, you know, where the kids are at at school, you know, with uh, uh, when the report cards come, come out and the parents come out um, to us and say, you know, my kid needs additional help, can you do that? Mm -hmm. And we do, we provide the additional help, the resources, we uh, work very closely with the school district to provide us more information. And um, yeah, the parents love that we're here. We're not a tutoring service and that's a big difference, you know, we do what we can with the staff and the volunteers that come come help us every day. And if somebody's interested in volunteering for the community center, what do they do? They go through our website to sign up as a volunteer mm -hmm. and can come in and do an orientation once a month um, so that we can direct them on how to work with the kids. Okay. And we did mention this is the homework help is, is one program that you have going on here. I know there's other things that are really great. Uh, one of them is the toy library. Can you talk about that? The toy library is really a lot of fun. Um, kids come in once a week on a Wednesday to check out toys. Um, rather than checking out books, there's an honor code that they have to keep. They take the toy for about a week and then they return it. If they return it in great shape, then they get a new toy from the toy library. And that's got to be really exciting for the kids to get something new. It's such a neat concept. It is. It truly is. And it's, you know, another great partnership with the Los Angeles County Library Program. So, Julia, we are yet in another room here at the Community Center. We are at the Ed Red Teen Room, named after, of course, our longtime Parks, Recreation, Community Services Commissioner. Um, I feel like we have only just scratched the surface of what the Community Center does. Can you talk about some of the other events and programs that you guys offer? Well, we are in the uh, Ed Red Teen Room where a lot more takes place on a daily basis, aside from it being a great place for the kids to hang out. And, you know, they do a lot of uh, community service um, activities, uh, workshops, uh, the YES program, the Youth Employment Service program, they, they get mentorship as well as tutoring here. So um, aside from uh, this room and all the other events, you're right, you've only touched on, on the surface of what goes on at the community center. Events such as, you know, the Halloween Fiesta, which the teens go through lengths to put a wonderful event together, um, a haunted house and um, other events such as the community Thanksgiving dinner that we do every year thanks in partnership with um, uh, Parkway Motor Cars mm -hmm. for one. A um, lot more, a lot more that goes on aside from those events. Julie, I think one thing that strikes, uh, strikes out right away about the community center is very dynamic in terms of being responsive to the community's needs around it and one of the things that you guys have been doing for a few years uh, anyways is the community health expo. That's correct. We do an annual health and safety fair for children and their families, obviously, and we um, do that in conjunction with other partners. Um, and uh, we bring different resources to the community. And that's, that's our mission. It is to serve, support, and respond to the needs of the community. So the different events and the different uh, needs from the community dictate what we do here at the community center. Julia, I want to thank you for taking us around to have a good look at the community center and all the great things you do here. Congratulations on five years at this location. Uh, for those of you out there, look for great things to come in the future from the Santa Clarita Community Center. You can check them out online at santa-clarita.com. Uh, for This Week in Santa Clarita, I'm Evan Thomason.